Spies, Assassins, Double Agents Throughout his filmography, director David Leitch takes characters whose professions require them to remain blank slates and he gives them a personality. He brings his warmth for cold-blooded killers to his latest movie, Bullet Train. Bursting with life at every turn, Bullet Train is an uneven but wild ride of a movie that never quite heads where you expect it to, boarded by a group of people in which no one is who they appear to be. Even the title has a cheeky double meaning. A group of assassins find themselves in the confines of a high-speed train, and sure enough, bullets fly. As the characters hop from one compartment to another, the film moves from comedy to action-adventure to a philosophical tale of vengeance and grief. These gear shifts don't always mesh smoothly, but the film rolls into its destination with a satisfying flourish. Based on Kotaro Isaka's Japanese novel Maria Beetle, Bullet Train is set on an overnight train ride from Tokyo to Kyoto. Brad Pitt is Ladybug, a retired assassin whose therapy sessions have given him a zen-like outlook on life. He's been hired to retrieve a briefcase from the train, only to discover he's not the only hired killer after it. Brian Tyree Henry and Aaron Taylor Johnson are the standouts of the film's ensemble cast, playing British brothers codenamed Lemon and Tangerine. Their banter gives the film its most charming moments, and their bond forms its emotional core. Where's the briefcase? Oh, it's not shit. It was just there. The weakest written of the bunch is The Prince, who has an uninspired motivation of wanting to succeed in a sexist world. It isn't made more convincing by Joey King's performative act as a naive schoolgirl. There's a lot of style in Bullet Train, but the near overwhelming amount of backstory and character motivations make for too much substance too. The early portions of the film track the many, many ways the characters' paths are interconnected, which becomes hard to keep track of. The film keeps upping its stakes. There's a bounty of $10 million, an escaped snake, and a growing pile of bodies. But the momentum really comes from the tangled web of interactions between the characters. There are misunderstandings, cases of mistaken identity, and murderous motives, all of which add up to the mayhem of Bullet Train. I will never stop coming for you. What? The film frequently cuts away to exterior shots of the train whizzing past the landscape. But David Leitch isn't really interested in replicating the same urgency inside it. Instead, he crafts sequences that prioritize humor over suspense. Leitch's experience as a stuntman has resulted in a director who knows that battles leave their scars. The protagonists of John Wick and Atomic Blonde get visibly bruised. Their bones snap, they spit out blood, they take prescription pain medication. Every blow in Bullet Train is strikingly choreographed. But the action sequences aren't as brutal and frenzied. Sorry, buddy. Most of the fights in this film are opportunities for physical comedy, rather than displays of power. One such sequence follows the characters navigating social etiquette while having to land loud punches inside a designated quiet compartment. Bullet Train doesn't navigate the cramped quarters of a train to full effect, but it does make smart use of props. Even a pair of chopsticks could become a deadly weapon. The film only becomes propulsive towards the end, even if it begins to veer off the rails. Small moments pay off in major ways. The film deftly layers in many larger mysteries and multiple revelations. However, its cheeky sense of humour becomes exhausting, especially as the more heartfelt tone is undercut by a series of quips. Ladybug has a habit of spouting wisdom that sounds like it came from the inside of a fortune cookie. It wears thin. At 2 hours and 16 minutes, there are points at which Bullet Train overstays its welcome. But it still remains an entertaining ride. I, I gotta get off this train. I had a great time watching Bullet Train, and I think you will too. There are a couple of fun cameos in the movie, so if you're planning on watching it, do yourself a favor. Don't Google the cast list.